This is our plant BIM application example of Pasca Cinder plant. This project is to install a new selective catalytic reduction facility, so-called SCR, inside of center plant area, so that it can remove nitrogen oxides generated during the process of sintered or production. Because the space between the existing plant and new SCR was too narrow, and vertical structure was the main configuration of the facility, there were so many risks of accidents, constraints of logistics, and using the equipment. That's the reason why we applied plant BIM technology to complete the project within a given time, by removing delay factors in advance. We check design errors, interferences through 3D scanning of new and existing facilities. Through this, we remove delay factors, such as missing temporary works, construction errors, and prevented any safety accidents on the construction site. We thoroughly reviewed design consistency and processes to find out risks, so that we could carry out SCR installation work without any delays on civil foundations. Additionally, we reduce 5% of construction costs and more than 10 days of the construction period by saving construction materials and optimizing duct routes. Also, we enhance maintainability and got the efficiency of the spaces by making more maintenance areas. All of these were achieved by finding out optimized duct routes from the sulfur absorption facilities to SCR facility. GGH is the facility that heats waste gas temperature up to 300 degrees Celsius for catalytic reaction with gas. We did the simulation and virtual construction on GGH by changing equipment specifications based on the construction manuals and packing lists. Through that simulation and virtual construction, we could choose optimal equipment manage the schedule by the critical path method. Large waste gas ducts with a diameter of 6.2 meters were located 40 meters high from the bottom. We needed close consideration of assembly and installation methods such as stability, welding quality, interferences, and construction schedule. In the aspect of installation order during the high place work after deriving the duct weight from simulation, we did large-scale block assembly work on the ground and suggested the way to improve welding quality by applying the rotating roller method. In addition, we removed safety risk factors and kept the schedule on track by systematic temporary works and construction plans. Considering the installation of structures and workers' workflows, Following is a selective catalytic reduction process to remove nitrogen oxides from waste gases. After reviewing the designer's drawings, there were interferences between the soot blowing pipes and the maintenance hoists during the catalyst replacement process. We enhanced operation management efficiency by changing the pipe route with awareness of problems such as suffocation accidents caused by closed space work and excessive catalyst replacement time in advance. We made a series of construction processes into the digital twin in virtual spaces by applying plant BIM technology. Through this, we improved the performance of the project by preventing contradictions among construction types insufficient design and omissions and we satisfied all participants by providing data up to the maintenance stage as well as complying with schedules preventing safety accidents reducing costs and improving quality now plant bim technology is an essential element not an option that recreates the value of the construction industry